In this section, I'd like to show you how to activate and operate the Cryomega cryosurgical device. It's really very simple. After removing it from the packaging, you'll notice that there's an instructions for use, which should always be reviewed. To activate the device, you'll notice that there's a dot on the knob at the top and an arrow underneath. You simply grab the knob and rotate it 360 degrees to the same starting position. At that point, a little helpful hint, so you remember that you've done it, is to take a Sharpie and mark it with an X or the date or whatever you would like. At that point, it's ready to use. Now the next step is how to operate. This is even simpler. The, the, the uh, button to press is at the bottom and you can do so with your thumb or some like to use an index finger. You'll notice that it's protected here to keep it from accidentally being turned on. So find your comfort. If it's your thumb, simply put it about a quarter inch from the surface to be treated and press the button. It immediately starts to dispense liquid nitrous oxide. There's uh, generally several minutes of spray time in each unit, which is going to amount to 20 to 30 treatments. Most treatments are anywhere from five seconds uh, to 10 seconds. And when the unit is done, you can dispose of it. In this next video, we'd like to give you an overview of some standard treatment protocols. At this point, you've activated your device and you're ready to use. Now think about the Cryomega as a small uh, container of liquid inside the unit that must always flow downhill. So with the patient, you need to position them such that you're perpendicular to the surface to be treated when you apply the cryogen. I'm using the small practice pad as an example, but if I had a wart on my hand, this would be an ideal uh, scenario. To treat, you simply place it about a quarter inch away. The spray times are going to be anywhere from five to 40 seconds. And we know that uh, best practice in performing cryosurgery is to do multiple freeze thaws, especially with something that's thickened such as a um, common or in the case of a planter wart where you may even want to use a uh, scalpel to uh, take away some of the thickened area before freezing it after pinpoint bleeding. Now to keep in mind uh, what not to do with a cryomega during operation is if I were to try and use the, the unit sideways or even upside down I can feel liquid coming out but as you can see there's no cryogen that's detectable. Now watch as I turn it upside down and you see immediately it starts to now spray. That's a good example of how the unit is, is um, uh, helped by gravity and the location of the patient. Now for most treatments, as we said, it's, it's a matter of seconds to perform each one of them. Keep in mind that freeze thaws are often uh, commonly used. And so uh, the ideal freeze thaw is that you freeze rapidly. And of course at minus 89 degrees centigrade, nitrous oxide will accomplish that. Then let the thaw take place naturally until you see flesh color return. Then treat again for as many freeze thaws as you see uh, appropriate. Each practitioner will develop their own um, uh, understanding and use of the device. And at all times, and as I close, I would reference you back to the package insert to make sure you read it cover to cover so that you understand all the uh, nuances of operation as well as best practices. Thank you. Welcome. In this section, we'd like to review with you some of the indications that are treatable with the Cryomega cryosurgical device. Keeping in mind the device uses liquid nitrous oxide, which is minus 89 degrees centigrade, it really is capable of addressing most benign topical lesions that you will encounter. Common warts, plantar warts, SKs, AKs, lentigo are all addressable with the Cryomega device. Care should be given uh, when selecting where you might perform the treatment. So as you practice and your technique improves, then you may be able to address lesions that are on the face as well as other parts of the body. The unit itself uh, is self-contained uh, with the gas and is pinpoint in its accuracy of delivery. 
So for best operation and use with indications, we suggest you go back to the package insert and study the instructions for use with individual lesions. Um, and with the, again, the additional practice and technique, you'll get the outcomes that you seek uh, with the convenience of what is the cryomega. In this last section, we'd like to talk about what to uh, expect post-treatment and how to communicate that to the patient. When you perform a cryosurgical treatment, you know you, that you've um, accomplished a, a controlled destruction of the lesion. So the patient, after having the, the lesion frozen, may experience some uh, small amount of swelling and redness, and it's even possible that it may blister. The patient, if it does blister, should uh, treat it as an open wound, cover, and use an antibiotic. And over the course of the next 10 to 14 days, the healing process should take place and uh, the patient should be ready to be evaluated to see whether or not another treatment is needed or if the lesion has been completely resolved.